Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss what is the meaning of sequencing uh, in math. Now, when you're talking about sequencing, you want to put something in, uh, into a particular sequence. Now, there's two sequences, or two types of sequences, do you want to think about. Uh, one is uh, finite, and the other one is infinite. Now, if you have a finite sequence, you're talking about letters or numbers, depending on what you have, sequences that actually have an ending point. So an illustration would be, let's just say if you have letters to work off of, you can have A, B, C, etc. And you know the letters of the alphabet are pretty finite because they do end, in this case, uh, Z. Now if you're working off of numbers, let's just say you have the numbers between, the whole numbers between, let's just say 1 and 10, you can have 1, 2, 3, you don't have to write all 10 numbers if you don't want to, but as long as you use dots to understand that the sequence does continue, but it ends at 10. So you have finite sequences which does have an ending point at some particular uh, time. Then you have infinite sequences which has no end. So for example, if you have odd numbers, you have 1, 3, 5, etc. Since you know the number is going to continue on, you just put three dots to indicate that the sequence will continue, and then you actually close the uh, set braces here. Now, obviously this is just one type of infinite sequence. You could have perhaps all the positive and negative whole numbers known as the integers. You could have, let's just say, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, etc. Now, to indicate that the sequence continues from both ends, just go ahead and with each comma, just put indicate repeating continuing dots there to indicate that the sequence does continue on the positive end and on the negative end. So there are ways to sequence things, you just, you just have to determine if it's finite or infinite. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's a brief discussion on what is the meaning of sequencing in math.